Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate to you one new package that I saw on Twitter by Ben Bjurstrom called OTPs, which stands for One Time Password. That tweet received quite a few likes, 300, so I thought there's something in there and let me demonstrate what Ben has created. This is the package itself and it has a short video and a few screenshots. Basically, it allows you to create a login form without password. So first I will demonstrate and then we'll dive into the code and how it works. So here's the example based on Laravel Breeze Livewire version. There's also inertia version possible. And in the login form, as you can see, there's only email. So if you type in your email, there's no password needed. You click login. Then you see this page, sign into Laravel and the email is sent. And I'm using a service called MailTrap to intercept my emails, which is kind of virtual inbox. And this is what I'm getting. So the email is sent with the code that you need to copy and paste into this box, submit the code and you're logged in without password. Now how it works in the database, it has a new table OTPs with this record created. So this is for user ID one with IP address local with some verification code and ID with status, which means that the code has been already used. Now, if we scroll through the documentation of the package, the installation is very simple, composer require and migrate. So migration is what creates that database table. And then in your user model, you need to add implements OTPable, has OTPs as trait and notifiable as well to send the notifications. Then in the routes, you need to provide OTP routes. Then you can publish the views for what has been sent for the email templates, which are these. So you would be able to customize them personally after installing the package. And also there are some configuration options like expiration limits and others. And then the usage, the official documentation provides two examples, both on Laravel Breeze. One is Laravel Breeze Livewire version, which is exactly what I showed you. And then another example for inertia. I haven't tried to use this package outside of Laravel Breeze. And I wonder how it will work with Laravel 12, for example, where Taylor is working with Tony Lee on new starter kits, which would replace Breeze in the future. But for now, with Laravel Breeze Livewire version, you need to override two things login form. Instead of authenticate method in that controller, you need to have this code send email, which actually performs all the action with OTP as a model send OTP to handle email. So yeah, you provide that method in the Livewire component. And then in the login blade, you override the login function, which is in Livewire vault with OTP send email and redirect. So this package works well as it is for this specific use case if you use Laravel Breeze with Livewire or Inertia. But also it's very early days. The package version currently is 0.2.2 at the time of shooting this video. But by the time this video is published a week or two later, usually maybe something will be changed, improved. And based on feedback, Ben is pretty active on Twitter and on GitHub. So I would expect that package to evolve based on the feedback. What do you think? Would you use that package or do you have any alternatives to suggest? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.